Kit, why can't you stay till morning? Because I can't. Can you spend one more night with me? I have to go. Why? Why? of it was her final gift. Looks like someone didn't have her coffee this morning. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and as you saw from the opening, that poor woman ended up committing suicide clearly because she had, was not able to have coffee that morning, and I, I would attribute that directly to the fact that they just didn't have access to hot water. Now, you can see behind me, I'm heating up some water in my parabolic solar cooker. This is placed in a position where it gets the early morning sun, but it's not in the sun all day, and instead of having to truck this thing around, move it all over the place, or buy multiple solar cookers that I can you know, get sun at different, uh, different locations on my property, I take the water from here and I store it in thermoses. I've got a couple of these as an evacuated thermos, as a vacuum in there, and this will keep the water pretty much hot and boiling right up until dinner time. Uh, oftentimes I will use the water to make pasta or you know, tea or whatever I might need hot water for at that time. It saves me time, it saves me energy, and in a collapse when you may not have easy access to heat energy, being able to store it from when you do have access to it, I think can be a real lifesaver or at least a morale saver for your family. And food isn't the only thing that hot water is beneficial for. Also, personal hygiene. We all know that taking a bath in, or a shower or even wiping down with warm water versus cold water isn't just more comfortable, it's also more effective. Uh, I have this giant bag called the Wonder Bag that I will be able to store this entire pot behind me uh, inside of, and this will keep the water you know, not quite as good, as hot as the evacuated th uh, air thermoses, but pretty hot right up until um, bath time. At the end of the day, after dinner, I give my boy a bath, and I do it from solar heated hot water that I, I get off that. Again, saves energy, saves a, a you know a little bit of time because I don't have to. That doesn't <laughs> doesn't save time. Doesn't save time at the end of the day. I I put in more effort. You know. Sh shuttling the water back and forth and everything. But in a collapse situation, if you had to be heating your water with, you know, starting a fire, heating wood and things of that nature, this definitely would be a time saver. And in a SHTF situation, time is going to be one of your scarcest resources. So any way that you can save that, uh, you know, is going to be able to allow you to put that time towards other things that might be more important than starting a fire to, to warm up water. So I guess it could kind of save your life. Though the idea is a little bit on the far-fetched side, but it is much more comfortable to take a bath with warm water. It is much more pleasant to have tea that is warm than cold, and pasta, it's difficult to co cook that in cold water. So there you go. Heat energy, capture it when you have it, put it in a thermos, store it for later. Think about having thermoses or, or thermal storage devices for your preps. They can make your life a lot easier. I use them constantly now, and in a SHTF situation, I would imagine they would become even more important to me. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.